um, the, the Jews were dumped in Uganda. In Uganda, yeah. And they were personal non grata. But even in those areas, when they did, uh, when the whites, the Jews and the Poles managed to, to get their African boyfriends, they, then they opened an asylum here at uh, Taveta, yep. where they, they, a new disease was invented called feeble minded. Mm -hmm. uh, if feeble minded is anybody who fell in love with an African, if you are white. <laughs> uh, and, and then they were prosecuted. Mm -hmm. I mean, it is, again, there's a lot of literature on that written by Ugandans right. and, and so on. What is the big point? The new thing here is that it is not being done on traditional, uh, you know, Commonwealth countries or British, uh, former British colonies, Kenya, Uganda, that this, now, this time now it is extended to Uganda. That to me what is new. Uh, otherwise, it is old. The second thing is that uh, the British basically took upon themselves to pay for the Polish refugees in the 1930s and 1940s. Uh, they paid for them uh, to be brought, brought to this part of the world but they did not pay for them to be maintained. Yeah. So they, they had to be looked after by humanitarian organizations. Rwanda has already received 140 million pounds mm. currently, and it's supposed to receive more. Uh, it's costing about uh, 13,000 uh, 13, pounds uh, to bring uh, it's a single refugee mm. to, to Rwanda mm. and settle him there. So it's a huge financial uh, you know, consideration, yeah. consideration yeah. Uh, for both Rwanda and also for the airlines and yeah. whoever is all going to benefit from these airlifts. But it is not a node, it's not a new policy. It's deeply ingrained in the British uh, foreign policy in terms of dealing <coughs> uh, with asylum uh, seekers and refugees. Particularly if they are coming from countries that are friendly and you don't want to look like you are throwing them away, then you offer them an alternative except Britain. So it's supposed to be a very benign policy, by the way. It's not as uh, bad as you are looking at it from the policy po perspective of the Foreign Office. It's not bad because the Poles are our friends. We'll take them to Tanzania. They don't come here. Uh, the Jews are, are with us because they are being harassed by the Germans. Then we allow them to, to go there. But it's all about British interests because when these conditions change, they also change accordingly. They dumped the Ethiopians in Massabit uh, because they did not want to fight with the Italians. So uh, again, almost 30,000. You go to Kew Gardens uh, in, the, in the archives and you're going to find this. Maybe some of the uh, I mean, uh, relatives of uh, Meres and others are, were, were in Kenyan camps for, for years. Until now, they started fighting against the, the Italians and they transformed these people. They took them to Taveta and trained them afresh and they now become uh, nationalists, no longer refugees who are now going to be used, uh, to fight alongside the British. So it's all about interest. Mm. The, this Even if it's about interest, uh, it should be within the confines also of uh, international law as well. No, mm -hmm. that's what we yeah. are saying. So but you it, cannot breach the international so interest. We, what uh, we are I, saying... I mean, the international law because it's your own interest. Uh, that's what we are saying. There is a lot of manipulation of even that international law. Currently, uh, if you look at the regime that is emerging, refugee protection regime, it is basically about, you know, having people contained in the air region of production, uh, the refugee generation. Uh, in Dadaab, in Kakuma, in uh, what they're calling, in Trukana, uh, Karubeye, and so on, other areas. Why is this happening? So you concentrate, and this is even massive. Uh, corporations, British investments, or European investment companies are now beginning to gain interest in refugees, going to entertain them in the camps. So that, you know, it's a lot of uh, interesting things that is happening. Thank you. But in order to not to allow refugees to enter the me metropole, which is Europe, uh, in the capital of Europe. Uh, so in a, in a word, this law is not different from the colonial law that discriminated so when you're talking about uh, you know human rights abuse and violation of international law it, it is at the core of it it is a return to the old colonial days where people can get here the others cannot get here uh, so so that's the the, the position uh, that I'm, we're finding ourselves right in. so uh, let's wind up uh, with uh, also hashi you want to talk about uh, lineka and uh, this has been the, the splash also recently of uh, the Guardian, if we would direct me just uh, take it.